What's going on guys? It's Jamil from rebeljoy.com and this is one of the first tutorials that I'm doing and since I've gotten a lot of requests about how to take pictures of what's on your Google phone screen I felt I'm just going to do a really quick guide because a lot of people think it's difficult but it really isn't. So um, let's get started. Well, this is my website, so uh, www.therebeljoy.com. Come and visit it. I'm going to have a lot more tutorials, so remember this address. So let's get started. First, you want to go to uh, Google. Oops. .com. And um, you're going to want to download, you know, what everybody calls, and they call the SDK. So you just put Android. You can search Android uh, SDK. And basically, it's going to take you to this website. Click here. Then it says Android developer site has moved. So click that as well. It's going to load it up. What you want to do is go here to the SDK um, tab. It's going to tell you download Android 1.1 SDK. So basically, you check which platform you have. If you have Windows or Mac OS, X, Linux. I currently have Android SDK Windows, uh, um, Android, um, I mean Windows, so I'm going to click here. This is the, the license agreement. Nobody ever reads that. You know, you just scroll down. It could say, I'm going to give my life away, but we, we put agree anyway. So then you press download. It's going to say save file. It's going to start saving the file. I already have it saved, but it's zipped. So once you save it, you know, it's 82.1 megabytes it's going to take a while but once you save it you're going to want to uh, unzip it to a folder like I did I zipped it to a folder called Android SDK alright once you unzip it here to a folder it's going to you know have these these icons uh, these folders these files and the one you're going to be interested in is USB driver at this point you're going to want to um, connect your your G1 phone because you're going to want to do a couple of things once you connect it you know um, uh, you're going to want to go to systems and once you click on systems you're going to want to click on applications click on applications once you did that just go to development and click check USB debugging USB debugging once you click USB debugging there's debug mode when USB is connected. Once you do that and you connect your phone to the computer, your computer is going to give you uh, more options than just mounting your, your computer. It's going to say found new hardware and it's going to give you the welcome to the found new hardware wizard. Uh, connect to wiz Windows Update. No. It's going to say what do you want to do? what do you want the wizard to do. Put install from a list of specific locations. Click Browse, then here you're going to want to go to your desktop and find uh, the folder you saved it on. Like I told you, these two folders, you want to go to USB driver, and the driver you want to get is x86. You click it and press OK, then you press Next. You're going to start searching for it, it's going to save your current um, file setting, that way if anything happens, you can just reboot to, 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 to the older one. When I do it, this pops up, it says File Needed. You know, look for it needs to find a specific file. I can't find, so I have to browse and literally let me go all the way up. Yeah, go to desktop. Just go to the same folder, USB driver x86, and then you just click Android USB. Once I do that and press OK, everything's perfectly fine. It loads up the driver now. Your computer is going to be able to to read and communicate with your Android phone. It's going to say found new hardware, and it's going to say it's, it was able to install. So now you're going to be okay. You know, uh, once it does that, click and um, Android the the folder you saved the um, the SDK in and, and click Tools. And the one you're going to be interested in is in DDMS. Click there. It's going to start loading up. Just give it a second. All right. Once it loads up and you did everything all right, everything correct, your phone should appear right here. Just simply click it gonna start reading everything that's going on in your phone. So now everything's okay. You just simply click device and screen capture. And there, apparently in uh, USB debug mode, you know.
you know. So uh, all I'm going to do is just go back to the menu, press refresh every time you go to a new, you do something new. Yes, it's 6.08, it's early, but I'm doing this for you guys. And uh, you go to that and screen over to my another menu. So all the icons currently on my other menu. Um, click Twidroid. Let's say I want to do a revo review about Twidroid. And there, this is my current file. You see it, things are working in the background. And um, I'm going to load up my, my current tweets. And these are these are my current tweets. So let's say I want to do a, a app review about Twidroid. I would just simply, let's say I want this picture, I would save it. Save it wherever you want. Let's say my, my desktop. It's going to save it as a PNG. And PNG is a pretty good quality file. So let's just save it as Twidroid here. And... Um, Click X, click out of here, get these windows out, oh. and um, it saves right here. So uh, here goes the image, you can just view it, and there it goes. It's pretty good quality, so bam, I have this. If I have a blog, I want to do a review, take several pictures, and simply load it up to my, load it up to my, uh, to my blog. So, you know, there you go, there you have it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you guys have any questions, just go to uh, www.revwithjoy.com. Um, email me. You know, sign up for my Twitter updates because I'm gonna have a lot of new things coming up. Definitely a lot of uh, more tutorials and app reviews. And uh, soon we're having a, a webisodes coming out, so stay tuned for that. All right, this is Jamil signing out.